The Secretary General will start with the, the presentation of the annual report, and then, as usual, he'll be very happy to take your questions. Secretary General. Good morning. Welcome to this uh, launch of the annual uh, report. And let me start by wish you all the best for the year ahead. 2014 was not a good year for European security. In fact, it was a black year. To the south, violent extremism is at our borders, spreading turmoil across North Africa and the Middle East, and fueling terrorism in our own streets. To the east, Russia follows a disturbing pattern using military force to annex Crimea, destabilize eastern Ukraine, and intimidate its neighbors in disregard of international law. So our security environment has fundamentally changed. This annual report demonstrates that we are adapting to deal with these changes and to keep NATO strong. Let me give you some facts and figures in some key areas. And the first figure is 200. Last year, we held 200 NATO and national exercises. One exercise started every two days on the ground, at sea, and in the air. And they will continue, so we are raising the readiness of our forces. The next figure is 400. Last year, Allied aircraft intercepted Russian planes over 400 times. Over 150 of these intercepts were conducted by NATO's Baltic Air Policing Mission. That's about four times as many as in 2013. So we are staying vigilant. The next number is six. We are maintaining a continuous presence of our forces by rotation in the eastern part of our alliance. When defense ministers meet next week, we will also decide on the size and the composition of our new spearhead force. And setting up command, NATO command and control units in six of our Eastern allies. So we are turning the readiness action plan we decided in Wales into reality. This will be the biggest reinforcement of our collective defense since the end of the Cold War. Then the number is 5,000. The NATO-led force K4, with close to 5,000 soldiers from allies and partner countries, provides a safe and secure environment and freedom of movement in Kosovo. The general elections held in Kosovo last year show the improvements achieved by Kosovo security forces, which provided for orderly secure proceedings, avoiding the violence that had disrupted previous elections. 352,000. We have started a new chapter in Afghanistan. In 2014, we completed the largest combat operation in Alliance history. 352,000 Afghan soldiers and police that we have trained took full charge of, the, the, of their country's security. And we launched a new mission to train, advise, and assist them. The next figure is one. Last year, there was just one piracy attack off the Horn of Africa, compared with over 150 in 2011. So we continue to work with international partners to counter threats such as piracy and terrorism. And the final figure is 852. We estimate that NATO allies spent $852 billion on defense last year. NATO remains, remains the strongest 
military lines in the world. But as you can see from our annual report, there has been a steady decline in European defence spending since 1990. And the decline continued last year. In 2014, European allies spent around $250 billion on defence, a reduction of $7 billion or about 3%. Yet last year, we also made an important pledge to stop the cuts in defence spending, to aim to spend 2% of gross domestic product on defence within a decade, and to spend that money more efficiently. So we need to spend more, and we need to spend better, to keep our forces ready to deal with any threat. We have seen some steps in the right direction, but there is a long way to go. We still have a serious mismatch between the security challenges we face and the resources we, did, we are dedicating to our defense. And continuing imbalances, both across the Atlantic and within Europe itself. Just over four months ago, I stood here on my first day as Secretary General. And then I outlined my three priorities. To keep NATO strong, to help keep our neighborhood stable by working with our partners, and to keep the bond between Europe and North America rock solid. These priorities remain as important as ever. Last year, the Euro-Atlantic order came under threat. But as our annual report shows and makes clear, NATO is adapting and looking forward. We stand determined to protect our values and to keep our nations safe.